Okay, welcome to video 14. I'm uh, going to continue working on the brakes. Uh, my intent here, we're going to get the brakes done, 100% finished. So, uh, yeah, last video, my buddy Kevin gave me some feedback, said I need to clean my workbench off. So, Kev, I will, uh, I will get busy. I did a little bit, but I'll get her cleaned up. Uh, what we did so far here is I've been mucking with the brakes, of course. So, one of the problems, got to run brake lines down to the uh, calipers we've got installed in the back now. So, this brake line is off of uh, another blazer. There you can see that at the end. But, the hose that was on the end here, it goes right in here. Well, that's a different size fitting. So I was going to buy some fittings, and then I thought better of it. I thought maybe I better just do a little testing here first. So pop the little hole through. And of course, it's not the right size. So there's uh, what happens is it actually goes into a distribution block in the ABS module. So uh, that's where it changes sizes. So I'm going to stop uh, at the non-mode shop tomorrow. See if I can't get some adapter fittings or something. I don't know. That will have to maybe just get new hoses made with the right fittings on the ends. Anyways, I did pick up this heater hose. So this fits on for the vacuum. I got a T. I'm going to run that. That vacuum hose actually comes through the, the hole. It's in the firewall way up under there. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I think I'll put the covers on. Anyways, the hose, I'm going to probably on this side. I'll put it over here. But the two rods will pass down here. As you can see, I've got this bolted in place now. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the stops are set. So yeah, the two clamps will go here, run back. The hose I'll put on the floor underneath and run back here. And then, uh, yeah, put the T, put the two fittings on. Should be all good. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, yeah, get some special hose fittings or something. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so now that I got this, these mounted, I'm going to work on the uh, the two brackets, the two clamp-on brackets, and start running the lines for the uh, the, re the bars to go up to the to the uh, brake cylinders. Okay, so YouTube, this is my first attempt at the bar. So the first thing I did was I upsized this to half inch. Um, built a little bracket that fits in there nice. It fits right in this hole. And I don't know how good you can see that with the light. Anyways, there's a hole there. Three eighths nut fits inside of it. So I went to a half inch bar as I had some instead of the three eighths, but uh, just doing some testing here and there's still a lot of flex in the bar and I built this little adjustable end here with the, the piece of 3 8 and a nut but I forgot that it's got a pivot so it bent the bolt you know back to the drawing board obviously you'll have to have something that allows some pivoting the other issue is that it's still just not strong enough so the this needs a guide so that it doesn't do this piece of rod itself isn't quite strong enough on its own so round two I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a use a piece of half inch or a half inch uh, pipe to go up to there with the pivot on it and the pipe will lay right on this with the bottom right down here and then I'll uh, build a little bracket that goes up and attaches to this and then I'll put a guide right here so that the tube has to stay exactly in the right spot so it'll prevent the twist but yeah first uh, attempt at this failure but learned a little bit 
Gotta work on the next attempt. Okay, we got uh, round number two here. This time, so I've got a piece of pipe and a half inch, just black pipe. Drilled it with a quarter inch and put it on the wrong direction. Okay, well here, I was not gonna video this, but uh, little screw up. <laughs> That's the first one, won't be the last. Anyways, I uh, built this with black pipe. Uh, this is the next round. And uh, put the pivot on in the wrong direction. Uh, swivels this way, I need it to be this way. So, yeah, not going to work. But the theory here is that uh, turn out 90 degrees and it'll be okay. And then here, what we're going to do is take this piece of half inch and stick it in the end. Weld it like that. So if you can see that, now we've got a guide for the rod. We'll put it down about there to slide on and off. And uh, that'll keep the position exact. So now I just need to build a bracket up here to uh, attach to the, the brake uh, cylinder. And that uh, is gonna be a fixed distance. So yeah, should be, should work. Oh, just gotta go and fix that mess up. Okay, got an update on the on the uh, brakes, so it's done. We've got both uh, both brakes hooked up. Got um, the arms, the steering arms done. So you can see, we just pull this down, and, and as I pull it down, the brakes actuate. Another one. Yeah, pretty happy with how that's working out. Going to uh, next is fill the brake lines up. And I got new brake lines on Monday. So I'll give a little update video once we get the brake lines on and purged. And uh, we'll fire it up and then try test each side, make sure the brakes work. And then that's it. We're on to track. All right, so. Uh, Got the brakes installed. I got new brake little hoses and these stainless steel brake lines. They're just kind of hooked up, and my son Daniel helped me purge it. Uh, we're going to fire it up and try it out. We've uh, squeezed them, they're definitely holding. So now we just got to see if we can get it running. The vacuum alone lines all hooked up, and hopefully it all works good. So let's. Okay, so. Uh, the darn brake switch again, I had to jump it out. This time it's permanent. The brake lights are always on. So got it fired up and as you can see, the left side is spinning and the right side isn't. So I'm gonna try braking the left side here.
them back there. Yeah. Still has the cameras on. Yeah, of course. Both of them are. No problem there. Okay, only the left one spinning. Right one stopped completely. Okay, so it looks like it's got a limited slip differential, so uh, we'll have to take the differential cover off and uh, remove the limited slip part of the diff to make it just a regular diff, because when I try to break one side with the other side free, it'll spin for a bit and then it locks up. So it is a limited slip for your diff, but that's all right. Quick open that up and uh, we'll take the parts in pieces and we should be good. So I'd say that's not a bad test. Uh, they do come back quite a ways, but uh, yeah, when I when I lean on them, it, it stops it. So I guess that's at least good enough to roll it out of here and once we get the track built and uh, see how it works. And as you can see, since I jimmy rigged the uh, brake switch, the brake lights stay on. So I'll have to add a isolator switch for the battery so that it we can shut the battery off when we're not using it. Otherwise, of course, the brake lights would kill it. So. Anyways, uh, fairly good test. Like I said, just gotta fix the rear diff.